This is part two of the NT video that I stitched. Now, essentially, this creator is saying that she's really confused because the doctor said one thing, as in the baby will for sure have an abnormality, but then said another thing after she declined further testing and said that there may not be an abnormality at all. Now, a thing that I would like to really address about this is the fact that these are just genetic screening tests that we do. The NT that she had done is really just a tool to screen. And what that means is it is not going to give a definitive answer as to whether or not baby has a genetic abnormality or not. This is simply going to just tell you if your risk for a genetic abnormality is increased. So for her doctor to tell her that baby is 100% going to have an abnormality based on a three millimeter NT is absolutely wild to me especially when the cutoff for being abnormal is three or over. So she's just right at the cutoff. And I mean, this doesn't mean that it's not abnormal because yes, three millimeters or over is still abnormal. But the fact that the doctor told her your baby will for sure have an abnormality is crazy to me because it is not only the nuchal measurement that we take into consideration. It is the nuchal measurement, it's the blood work, as well as the mom's background. So all three of those things combined is going to give us a risk calculation as to whether or not baby will have a genetic abnormality. You cannot tell this for sure until you undergo more invasive testing, such as a CBS or an amnio. So again, this is just very interesting that that's what the doctor told her. And then when this creator went ahead and declined any further testing and the doctor told her, well, there could be nothing wrong with baby at all, actually. That was also really interesting to me because actually in my own personal experience with both of my pregnancies that I took to term, both of them had really abnormal nuchal translucencies. I'm talking 4.7 millimeters and 3.7, I believe, or maybe it was 3.8 for the second one that I had. And in the end, both of them were genetically normal. If you want more info about this, then you can definitely check out my video about this on my YouTube channel. But it is just very, very true that even if you have an abnormal NT, it can absolutely still be genetically normal. So in the end, the fact that this doctor did tell the patient that she would have a 100% chance of having a baby with an abnormality is so wrong to me. And I really hope this video does provide some sort of comfort to her as well as to anybody else going through this situation. Because again, the only way that you can really tell for certain is if you undergo a CBS or an amnio. And even if your NT is really, really abnormal, like it was in both of my pregnancies, your baby can still be absolutely genetically normal.